Hey, what's up, guys? Zach here, and welcome back to VGL. And it seems like we just got some amazing new news and confirms that the PS5 Pro is actually real. And it looks like it's coming out in the holiday season of 2024. That's right, the end of this year. So I've got this article over at Insider Gaming from Tom Henderson that basically breaks down the leaks and the actual release window that we can expect to see the PlayStation 5 Pro actually come out, as well as the specs and the hardware that the new console will be running on. So if you guys are excited for the PlayStation 5 Pro, be sure to drop a like on this video and let's break it down. So like I said previously, this is an article over at Insider Gaming written by Tom Henderson, basically breaking down that the PS5 Pro specs leaks are actually real and it'll be releasing in the holiday of 2024. The article then goes on to say that Insider Gaming can confirm that the leaked PS5 Pro specs leaked earlier today are real and that the PlayStation 5 is tentatively targeting a 2024 holiday release, which basically means, like I said, it'll be releasing at the end of this year it then goes on to say that speaking with sources who wish to remain anonymous because they weren't authorized to talk about the company plans we can confirm that the leaked documentation from the youtube channel moore's law is dead that information is quite real despite the criticism of the leaker in the leaked specs insider gaming can confirm that the documentation leaked from the playstation developer portal which was sent out this week to a wider band of third-party developers in early 2023 i reported via key to gaming that the playstation PlayStation 5 Pro is under the code name Trinity, and it'll be targeting improved and consistent FPS at 4K resolution, a new performance mode for 8K resolution, and accelerated ray tracing. It was also reported that Trinity will have 30 worker processors, as well as some brand new improved memory. And this is kind of where it gets into the sauce of the video, and basically where he's breaking down the actual specs of the PlayStation 5 Pro, and what the leaked documents actually confirmed for the new console. So from these documents, it's confirmed that the render is 45% faster than the original PS5. It has two to three times ray tracing, four times in some cases. It'll have 33.5 teraflops. Also, the PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution upscaling and upscaling anti-aliasing solutions. Its plan is to support for resolutions up to 8K and is planned for future SDK versions. As well, it'll have some custom machine learning architecture. It'll also have an AI accelerator built in, supporting up to 300 tops of 8-bit computation as well as 67 teraflops of 16 bits at the floating point. And then they kind of end off the article by saying Insider Gaming, who has also shared the documentation from the developer portal under the condition that is not shared publicly or privately. And Insider Gaming can also confirm that the dev kits are available for the first party studios since September of 2023. And third party developers have had it since January 2024. And they'll have it from the spring of 2024. Test kits will also be available, which will be identical to the final product. Insider Gaming also understands that the PS5 Pro is currently aiming for a tentative holiday release of 2024, but that day could be changed due to the lack of first-party games released on the PlayStation 5 this year. So definitely thanks to Insider Gaming for that article. It definitely puts it in better perspective for us gamers and kind of when we can expect to see the PlayStation 5 Pro. There's also still a lot of unanswered questions that we have to wait to find out for, and one of which is actually the price point. What are they actually going to sell the PlayStation 5? 5 Pro 4. I know there's a lot of speculation saying that they're going to come in at the price point of $599. Maybe they'll do $499. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. As well, the other question, the other big question would be the first party titles. Will we actually see a launch title with the PlayStation 5 Pro? Although this documentation actually leaked kind of when we can expect to see the PlayStation 5 Pro actually release, the official release date is still completely up in the air. When they say the holiday season of 2024, that's still a pretty broad statement to say. That could honestly be November that could be December but definitely sometime in the later half of the year but that's just another thing that we're gonna have to wait to find out for when we're actually gonna see the release of the console and another big issue that comes to my mind when I think of the PlayStation 5 Pro and especially Sony and just scalpers in general will gamers have the same issue to get their hands on the PlayStation 5 Pro like we did get in our hands on the original PS5 but I guess we'll just have to wait and see like I said there's still a lot of unanswered stuff that has to come out but on the bright side there is the light at the end of the tunnel we can see that we can see the console coming out we just have to wait for it but i think that's gonna wrap it up with this video guys let me know in the comment section if you're excited for the playstation 5 pro will you actually be buying it were you able to get your hands on the original ps5 be sure to let me know down below i hope you guys enjoyed the video this has been zach i'll catch you in the next one